Bhagavad Gita, text 3.3 The Lord of Sri said, O sinless one, as I have explained previously, in this world there is a twofold basis of devotion, that of knowledge for contemplatives and action for yogis. The word nishta in this verse literally means steadiness, basis or attachment. It is in the singular, for Krishna is speaking about only one type of steadiness. This steadiness is derived from the controlled mind and knowledge of the self, which underlies a life of devotion proper. The jnani achieves this through contemplation, and the karma yogi approaches it through detached action. Rupa Goswami has used the term nishta to refer to steadiness in devotion, and in Winthrop Sargent's translation of this verse, nishta is rendered as twofold basis of devotion. This fits well with the direction in which Krishna is taking Arjuna. One who is steady in detached action attains steadiness of mind. One who is steady in mind attains steadiness in knowledge. And one steady in knowledge can attain devotion proper. If one expects to attain devotion proper, one must in due course control the mind and acquire knowledge of the self. Indicating that in his present condition Arjuna was not suited for a life of contemplation, Krishna advises him further regarding the relative superiority of karma yoga over jnana yoga. The sense in which the word yoga is joined with both jnana and karma is this. Jnana is yoga because through knowledge one is united with the Absolute. Karma is yoga because through detached action one's mind becomes purified and thus the possibility of attaining knowledge of the Self arises. Without a purified mind one cannot assume to be qualified for contemplative life. Krishna thus stresses that the desired purity arises out of proper action.